Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 13, Practice, Problems Review. In question 1, the double number line shows how much water and how much lemonade powder to mix to make different amounts of lemonade. Water, cups, 0, 2, 4, 6. Lemonade powder, scoops, 0, 1.5, 3, 4.5. Make a table that represents the same situation. Well, here's the table of water, cups, and lemonade powder scoops. And we just bring our water down, 0, two, four, six, and our lemonade powder scoops, zero, one and a half, three, and four, and five tenths. Matches perfectly. Question two. A bread table uses, I'm sorry, a bread table. Be interesting. Tasty, maybe. Wouldn't last very long. A bread recipe uses three tablespoons of olive oil for every two cloves of crushed garlic. Complete the table to show different sized batches of bread that taste the same as the recipe. All right. Well, three to two. I'm going from three down to one here. I'm dividing by three. And so two, likewise divided by three. Let's not use the fr uh, decimal. Let's use the fraction, two thirds. Well, if I'm doubling that, then this is going to be four-thirds, or one and one-third. Well, if I'm multiplying one by five to get to five, I can multiply two-thirds by five to get to ten-thirds, which is the same thing as three and a third. And once I'm at 5, I can double 5 and double the 10 thirds to get to 20 thirds, which is the same thing as 6 and 2 thirds. Draw a number, double number line that represents the same situation. Well, here is a double number line diagram with olive oil and tablespoons and crushed garlic cloves. And... We can start with our zero, zero, and for our olive oil, let's go one with the two-thirds. We have two with the four-thirds. We have the three with the two. Four we don't have, well, we could figure it out, but five we have as ten-thirds, and all the way down here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we have... 20 thirds or 6 and 2 thirds, however you want to write it. Now, which representation do you think works better in this situation and explain why? As long as you have a justification, you're, you're pretty good. I personally like the table better. Um, I can see fractions a little bit better on this table, but some people might like the double number line better. As long as you can explain why, then you're in good shape. Continuing on to question three. Claire travels at a constant speed as shown on the double number line. At this rate, how far does she travel in each of these intervals of time? Explain or show your reasoning. To get stuck, consider using a table. Well, let's do just that. Let's create a table. We have our distance in miles and our time in hours, and we have our 72 miles in two hours. If I want to break that down to one hour, I have to divide by 2 to get from 2 to 1, so I'd have to divide by 2 to get from 72 to 36 miles. And once I'm in that 1 hour, I can multiply by 3 to get to 3 hours, and multiply 36 by 3 to get to 108 miles. Once again, once I'm in that 1, I can multiply by 6 and 5 tenths here. And so, 36 times 6 and 5 tenths is 234 miles in those 6 and 5 tenths hours. Question 4. Lynn and Diego travel in cars on the highway at constant speeds. In each case, decide who is traveling faster and explain how you know. During the first half hour, Lynn travels 23 miles, while Diego travels 25 miles. Diego went faster. 
How do we know? More distance in same time. Don't really even have to break that down since we're dealing with 30 minutes. After stopping for lunch, they travel at different speeds again. To travel the next 60 miles, Lynn takes 65 minutes and Diego takes 70 minutes. Well, 65 minutes for Lynn to go 60 miles versus 70 minutes for Diego to go the same 60 miles. Who do you think went faster? Well, I would say that in this case, Lynn did because he went the same distance in less time. And I guess I should probably write that down. Same distance in less time. All right. Question five. A sports drink recipe calls for five-thirds tablespoons of powdered drink for every 12 ounces of water. How many batches can you make with five tablespoons of drink mix and 36 ounces of, of water? Explain your reasoning. Well, five-thirds tablespoons of drink mix, 12 ounces of water, and we're going to 36 ounces of water? Well, that 12 times 3 gets me to the 36. And even though I could take 5 thirds and multiply by 3, that actually is 5 tablespoons of powder drink mix. So it looks like we could have 3 batches using the 5 tablespoons of mix and 36 ounces of water. Uh oh Geometry. In this cube, each small square has a side length of one unit. Surface area and volume. Well, let's look at the area of each of these sides for surface area. You know, this is 9, 9, and 9, either by counting or doing 3 times 3 for each of those. Now, how many are there? There's 6 of those, because you can only see half of them. So 6 times the 9 is going to be 54 square units. At some point, you also learn 6 times side squared is how you can find the surface area of a cube. And so 6 times 3 squared, which is 6 times 9, which gets you right back to that 54 square units. The volume, however... We learned side cubed, or side times side times side. So 3 to the 3rd is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 cubic units. Because 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. I believe that's it for this grade 6, unit 2, lesson 13, practice problems review. Good luck.